For those who do not know, the ancient, nearly 14-year-old game, Fallout New Vegas, still has a modding community that is alive and well. This community not only produces new content for the old game, but they continue to improve the game's overall stability and performance, in many ways looking to achieve what Obsidian could not in the time that they had. Not only that, but there are longtime fan favorite mods like New Vegas Bounties by SomeGuy2000 that have been fixed up, cleaned up, and re-released not too long ago, with the sequels also supposedly being remade as well. We are at the point now where the modding community is so old we are getting mod remakes to modernize old mods with more up-to-date practices that benefit stability and performance. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of different mods that are either new or have been locks in my load order for some time and I felt deserved a spotlight. There is no greater theme for these mods, I often enjoy modding all areas of Bethesda games, not just fixes or visuals, but a whole array. I currently have over 400 mods installed on Fallout New Vegas. Before I show you these mods, my suggestion to you if you want to use these mods is to go and follow the Viva New Vegas mod guide or use their one-click Wabajack installer if you want to pay for Nexus Premium. This is the best way I know for you to set up New Vegas in 2024, not just if you want to mod the game, but if you want to play the game on PC, period. They have an extended version that goes in more of a vanilla plus route, and then if you want, you can begin to slowly add mods from there. This is what I do. Just note, once you begin venturing beyond Viva New Vegas's safe arms and clear instructions, there is no telling what madness you will invite upon yourself. Anyway, let's get to the mods. This is a fun little list, I hope you enjoy. First up, let's take a look at a new mod that probably should have existed in some way in the base game of New Vegas. It's called Immersive Abolitionism, Legion Slave Liberation, and it's by the Overseer, well known for his quest mods. This mod is pretty simple. It allows you to raid the fort as usual, but now you will be able to free the captured slaves there. Normally we can see just a few named ones around the camp, like Siri. Sorry for the iPhone users whose Siri just started listening. It goes a step further though and adds other captives, like Stella, who you battle in the arena in the base game if you choose. Well now you can choose to just free her. She had no eyes when I found her. Damn Legion must have gouged them out. It definitely had nothing to do with conflicting mods in my load order. The real attraction to this mod in my eyes is that once you have freed these guys, they go and find lives back in the Mojave in locations that fit their character. Wasteland's a big place, so once you finally stumble upon one of these guys to get your long overdue thanks, it will be all the more worth it to free them in the first place. That's the kind of payoff a game like New Vegas often delivers on, so this fits incredibly well into the base game. Not to mention it reuses vanilla dialogue to fully voice act the new dialogue added. This mod fits itself into vanilla seamlessly, which in my opinion is one of the best compliments for a mod adding new content. People already love what New Vegas does, so if you can make content that fits the game or fulfills what the original vision might have been, you'll please a lot of players. This mod no doubt will do so. Next up we'll be looking at two map mods. One that's new and one that isn't new but looks and works great. We'll start with the new one, Companion Map Icons, which makes use of the icons used in the mod JIP Companions Command and Control. That's not the mod we're focusing on, but rather this mod that uses any icon pack available for that mod and applies the icons to the companion's location on the map. JIP Companion Command and Control is not an actual requirement for this mod, but if you use it, it will default to the icons you have in use. This is another really simple mod that just adds life and color to the map while also making it easier to spot where you forgot your companions at. Even better, you can see their location on the local map as well for a more precise idea of where they are. In addition to this, we have JIP Minimap, which offers the user with an incredibly functional, detailed, and customizable minimap like you might get from other shooters. This might not be for some. I often find myself trying to reduce HUD elements when I am actually playing the game, but this could offer a quality of life addition and make the experience more modern and approachable. Beyond that, it could save you from opening the pip boy to check your map. You can turn the minimap on and off whenever and switch from the world map to the local map with a simple hotkey. There's lots of options for the display and scale along with including quest targets and so on. Even if I don't use the map often, I love seeing something like this in New Vegas because it works well and offers something very unique from what we expect in the base game, despite just showing you the map in a new area. Now I want to show you a new animation mod and the recent revolution of animating New Vegas in a much more modern way. 
Animated Pip-Boy light actually makes it so your player character has to reach over and press the flashlight button on the Pip-Boy before the light comes on. This is a must for immersion lovers who like to creep around and make their interiors extra dark and spooky. Once you hear something starting to move in the dark, instead of holding tab and beaming up your Pip-Boy light, you'll have to wait stressfully as your courier reaches out to turn on the light. Now as a bit of a side note, I believe the flashlight being displayed here is from New Vegas Reloaded, which is an ENB alternative for Fallout New Vegas. You can find this mod on their Discord page under the New Vegas Reloaded Nightly Builds section. I am using the release from March 29th, 2024 because the latest version was giving me some issues. I am almost positive it had to do with my load order, so you could be fine with the newest version. It's supplementing if not carrying the visuals alongside desert natural weathers. New Vegas is all about choices, and you're gonna have to make another one if you want to use one of the next two mods I have for you. Camp McCarran Animated Monorail brings the famous monorail that carries tourists directly to the strip to life. I absolutely love this mod, and it does not leave my load order. Seeing the thing move back and forth, whether I am far beyond the outskirts of Vegas or walking right under it, is a treat. This game loves trailing the player along with visual carrots in the distance. You only need to consider the expected path into each marker. From seeing the strip from the Good Springs Cemetery, to the Prim Roller Coaster, to the Ranger Unification Statue, to the smokestacks from Nipton, to Dinky the Dinosaur and his thermometer, and so on. This adds perhaps the most visually interesting carrot to the game we now have with a moving, lit up monorail. I would also suggest adding in the mod Monorail Proper Sounds as it makes the Great Metal Beast exude a calming hush as it passes by, nothing too intrusive for the often peaceful stretch of waste it hovers over. Like I said, I would have a choice for you and here is option two. Made by the same mod author, we have animated Mojave Zeppelins with two options within this as well. One adds one Zeppelin to the New Vegas skyline, and the other adds two Zeppelins to the New Vegas skyline. I don't know who in their right mind would only want one airship when they could have two, so I went with that one. Interestingly enough, the base Zeppelin is one for the Strip, and probably under Mr. House's control, and the other is a Brotherhood of Steel airship. From a visual perspective, this is wildly new to the base game. It adds great mystique to Vegas, and also adds a Big Brother type vibe to Mr. House or the Brotherhood as they loom over the wasteland. This mod also animated a series of other aspects of New Vegas, but the big feature, to me at least, is the balloons. <coughs> These mods do not work together though, Aww. which is why if you want to use either, you must pick one. I personally opt for the monorail. I think it fits the game better, not to mention you will lose it if you fail the quest to save the monorail for the NCR. So there are real in-game stakes to this fitting visual edition. The zeppelins are amazing as well, as they trail around the sky and can be seen from all over the game world. Another big visual I have added to the game world that fits a similar purpose is the Luxor Casino. This mod is definitely not going to add some enormous interior space to your game with a bunch of lifeless NPCs milling about with no quests. It just adds a background building to the strip. You cannot access it. It only serves to brighten up the strip and make it seem a bit larger from the outside. I think of this mod as an illusion that adds to the busyness of the strip exterior. I don't need or want to add a bunch of potentially bloated, performance heavy, or unstable strip overhauls, so this little addition helps fill that void. When paired with the monorail, I am beginning to make minor adjustments that go a long way to make the strip something a bit more exciting. This mod might not be for everyone, I think it fits the Vegas skyline as the Luxor is a real life Las Vegas casino. I also like that it is shaped very uniquely compared to the other casinos on the strip, which also vary quite a bit from one another. I want to round out the emerald jewel of the wastes, and this addition helps me get in that direction if nothing else. Let's move our focus from the strip to Freeside for the next mod. Crowded Central Freeside brings life to Freeside in a different way than the Luxor or the Monorail does for the Strip. This will fill up the space with a solid but not excessive number of NPCs along with items like beds or benches so the NPCs actually interact with the world and live a bit. This mod serves a sensible purpose in my eyes because this area is vast and wide in an otherwise dense cityscape when compared to the majority of New Vegas' game world but has very little going on. Freeside is supposed to be the place where failed New Vegas tourists end up stuck like a bunch of groupers getting caught up in a commercial fishing boat's net, too panicked and confused to find their way out, or in this case, too hungover and broke to do anything about their situation. This next one is for those who don't mind becoming overpowered as they level with specials enhanced extremes adding functionality to the game for acquiring special stats over 10. 
This is an awesome mod if you want to use chems and other buff items, along with pairing companions and equipment benefits to make a more powerful courier. Many of us have played New Vegas a whole lot over the past 14 years. I love adding new aspects to the leveling system in game, even if I do end up overpowered. This mod would also play really well in a mod list built around difficulty, because in the moments where you pump yourself full of chems and get just that stat boost you need to get out of a sticky situation, this will serve as a mod to balance the scales a bit in your favor. Get drunk off some vodka and a pair of power armor and you'll be ripping a super mutant's arms off and calling for Frank Horrigan himself. You're not a hero. You're just a walking corpse. Finally, the last mod I have for you today is called True Movement, which Per the mod author adds physics and realism to player movement, and I have to say I definitely agree. This mod will slow you down a bit, and if you hate the sound of that, fair enough. But if you think New Vegas' movement feels like it has no weight to it, if you think it feels too floaty and loose, allowing you to moonwalk up the side of cliffs far too easily, this mod might be just for you. I have really enjoyed using it, and I think it pairs well with just sprint. Moving up those desert hills takes effort, movement feels more deliberate and taxing. Fallout New Vegas in my mind is an odyssey of odd and interesting events being thrust upon the player as they move throughout the world. It is a push through a desolate desert with small bits of visual hope placed on each horizon that keep you pushing forward to the next location. This movement fits that theme so well. It's not incredibly noticeable or stand out. It's a slight adjustment that makes the game about the mailman who walks appear to have a more efforted movement throughout a harsh landscape. Anyways, hope you had a good time with the list in the video. Let me know which mods you think you'll actually include in your own load order, or feel free to shout out another mod you've been using and enjoying recently. Thanks for watching.